He did it for the first time in 31 years. We do have a male American winner, Meb Kaplesny. And Meb, tell us all about it. How did you do it down the stretch? It was a phenomenal day. You know, it's not just about me, but we did it Boston strong, Meb strong. I was going to give it everything that I had for the people. And I have the four victims on my, on my bib number. And I just said, you know, they let me go. I said, just keep driving. Give me the energy. I said, God, give me the strength to get there. Like, I was coming close at the end, but right. at the same time, I just said, I got to finish. Give me the spirit. Give me the spirit. Give me their, uh, their energy. And I, it, he did. You mentioned Boston Strong. How important was it for an American male or American to win it this year's race? You know, before the bomb exploded last year, I wanted to text Ryan Hall. I said, this is, we got to do it next year. And he said, yes, we're going to do it. And the bomb happened, and I'm every day since. I said, I want to come back and win it. And when the Red Sox won it and put the trophy right there, I said, I want to win it as a runner for Boston. And you know what? It's beyond words. I mean, the Royal Reef, the trophy. But beyond that, it's just winning for the people. Winning for the people. How much did the crowd, speaking of people, how much did the crowd help you out along the way? A lot of cheers, a lot of phenomenal day, and they pushed me through it, especially the last three, four miles. They pushed me through it. I know I have five k to go. I'm like, he's coming after me, but I'm like, I used them to be able to push me, and it's just an amazing day and beyond words. But, you know, I'm so lucky to be the champion, not for myself, but I have a very, very strong support team on Team Meb and with them, the coaching from my wife, from my eight brother, and the sponsors, 11 of them strong. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing. And you know what? I'm blessed to be an American, and God bless America, mm. and God bless our Boston. This is a special day on Patriots Day, and, you know, it happens in God's time. I tried it, I tried it, but it cannot yes, be it a better day than this day. You won the uh, New York Marathon back in 2009, but to win here in Boston, how's it compare? I mean, this is, is, this is a very needed uh, victory. I, I broke the streak of 27 in Boston. I broke the streak at the Olympic Games in 28 years, and 31 years, uh, 31 years here. Uh, you know, it's just beyond words. I just, to do for Boston, and the Boston knows everything about running. It's, hey, it's Marathon Monday. One last thing, Greg Meyer was the last American male to win it back in 1983. I saw you guys hug up there. What did he say to you? You know, he told me two days ago, he, goes, he said, you're the smartest guy there. <laughs> and, and, and then this morning before I took off, he says, go get it done. You can do it, you can do it. And then he says, it couldn't be a better person to pass it on, and it just means a lot. Mev, God bless you. God bless America. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you. Thank you. Mev Kaplinski, our guest, let's go back up to Lisa. Lisa, it's all yours. What a win by him today. Oh, Steve, a gift. Thank you. Great interview. And as we go to break, I'm going to read this tweet. If you're not crying with Mev Kaplinski, you have no tear ducts. <laughs>